Hello, my friends. I just wanted to leave you with a quick thought. I've had something just spontaneously pop into my mind. Normally, my podcast episodes are <laughs> fully baked. They're well thought out and researched. But I just figured I'd share something that's been on my mind and my heart that hopefully will help bring some hope and comfort and perspective to some of you. I'm just realizing as like summer is starting to come to a close, just how difficult this summer has been in a lot of respects. There's been a lot of good. Don't get me wrong. We've had a lot of fun family adventures. And I love that this summer has also been about like female empowerment. We've had like Barbie movie and like the Eras tour and all these things that I'm just like, my inner child is alive. She's in there. But honestly, it just helps me to survive, to have something to look forward to and like survive the heart and not necessarily thrive. (laughs) Um, Yeah, my girls, we're on our last full week before school starts. And I'm about to have both girls in school for the first time and both girls in soccer for the first time. And things are about to get really different really fast. And I'm struggling with that. I'll be honest. It is something I'm struggling with. I am finding myself conflicted and I have been for a while where you want to be present, you want to make the most of every moment, and you feel like you're not. You feel like time's moving too fast, and they're growing up too fast, and you're not what you want to be. You're not what you, you're not there for them like you want to be. On the other hand, you also get emotionally taxed and just physically exhausted and burnt out from all of the demands of motherhood and want that break, right? Want that, that sense of relief, even if it's just for a few hours, right? While they're at school. But you also know that that time needs to be prioritized and them being at school also bring another different set of challenges, I have found this summer to be one of the more difficult seasons that I've ever been through. We've had a lot of, we, <laughs> I've talked about this before. We're constantly in a season of transition. I feel like it's been perpetual for a while, you know, making those adulting decisions, right? When it comes to career and moves and things, but on top of it, you know, my husband's worked two jobs and, Um, the bulk of the responsibility with having both girls home has really fallen to me and it is taxing. Plus there's been a lot of just little instances where I've realized how little control I have. And as much as you think, you know, that, you know, certain experiences don't, you're not prepared for. And the anxiety and things that come along with that. (laughs) It's been hard. And I don't say this to get pity, sympathy, anything like that. I just hope that you know that I'm here for you and I am right alongside you. A lot of what we talk about in this podcast is resources and experiences and... (laughs) and, um, exercises and things that you can use in these moments. So if you, if all of what I'm talking about sounds familiar to you, these are things that are built to help. They are meant to help. And I would suggest that you start small, like do the one, like if you're listening through these episodes and one resonates with you more than the others, start there. Whatever is going to help you feel better now, help you. No one else, you do it for you. If it's going to help you, it, whatever's going to help you right now in this moment, that's where you start and start small. And then you can build off of that. But I also wanted to point out too, that these resources have been curated (laughs) over years. I've been a mom only six years almost seven. And so a lot of those experiences have happened in that time frame, and some of them beforehand even. So just know that (laughs) 
these aren't things that I that I've known all along. These aren't things that I'm necessarily good at. These are things that I have found in those peaks and valleys, right? They are the high, motherhood is the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Everything is so like exponentially bigger and more meaningful when you're a mom for better or worse. And these are some things that I have found that have worked for me in the lows. They aren't things that happen consistently all the time. You kind of have to pick and choose and figure out what works for you in the season that you're in and be realistic. I will be honest. I have listened back to my audio on my podcast and, you know, editing, tweaking things, fixing the audio. And as I'm listening, I go, man, I should really take my own advice. <laughs> so know that you're not alone. I'm in your corner. I'm right alongside you. If there's anything I can do to help, I am happy to. Just start small and find your people. Find someone that you can vent to, but also know that you'll leave that conversation feeling empowered to move forward. That's the key. I feel like we have friends that we can vent to all day long, but not every friend will help us to see the positive and help us feel capable of moving past it by the end of talking to them. That is kind of a more rare thing. And it's something to, for us to practice as well in being a friend so we could be that safe place for people as well. So that's my two cents. I hope you guys enjoy this last bit of summer. Try your best to stay present and just... Just do you. You deserve it. Have the best week.